How's it going guys and welcome to our five favorite pieces of gear of 2022. The end of the year is here. It's a new year. We've been testing a lot. We got a lot to do and we got Jamie in front of the camera. What's up? What's up, man? It's always a pleasure to have Jamie in front of the camera. So we've got a couple categories here. We've got our favorite folders. We've got our favorite EDC multi-tool, our favorite EDC pouch organizers, whatever you yeah. want to call it. Fabric thing. Fabric thing. Our favorite fixed blades. And then for our fifth category, we both picked uh, kind of a, I don't know, like a random piece of gear to just throw in that we thought you guys might be interested in. I'm gonna kick it off with my favorite folding knife. Let's do it. Of 2022, and that is the Kaiser Drop Bear. This thing has been absolutely stellar. We did an entire video on the Drop Bear. Before I go too far into it though, I do wanna talk about the scales that are on it because these are not Kaiser scales. Uh, one of you guys in the comments turned me on to Vodic scales on Etsy, actually. They come out of Australia. There's a platypus on one, on the inside of one of the scales. Which is so cool. So cool. And uh, they're actually really good as well. So I've been very happy with these Vodic scales. And uh, also, just so you guys know, we, there are links down in the description to almost everything that we ever do in a video. So if you're interested in any of it, you don't gotta buy anything, but if you're interested in any of it, uh, we do have links down in the description. And there are two special links down there. It'll be obvious which ones they are. Got a little something cooking. I'm not gonna say more than that. You just go down, check out the links, check out those two links. They're not gonna be there forever. They will disappear. So we'll just go with that. Back to the Kaiser Drop Bear. If you don't know, the Kaiser Drop Bear has a 154 cm blade. Obviously, I put some micarta scales on it and it's got a deep carry pocket clip. The big thing with the Kaiser Drop Bear, and this is why it's my favorite for the year, is the clutch lock. So this is Kaiser's version of the axis lock, the bar lock, whatever you wanna call it. And they did a really great job. It's actually adjustable. You can adjust the spring tension. I like the second most stiff tension on the spring. For me personally, it's just perfect. Um, but you can tune your clutch lock to be as uh, hard or as loose as you'd like it to be, which is really cool. The Kaiser Drop Bear, just a great knife. I love the blade profile. I would love the way it fits in my hand basically everything about it. And these Vodic scales are sick. Um, now, Jamie, you're gonna hate me. Uh, why? <laughs> I have a hard time picking one of anything. You know this. I, I, mean, I already know this, obviously. Jamie already I'm, knows I'm this. hamming it up for the camera. Jamie already knows this. We had this conversation beforehand, and he's like, it's not your favorite X, it's your favorite five. Well, sorry, because I have a, just a runner up. I'm just gonna mention it really quick. This is the Civivi Voltaic. This thing is real good. I mean, stainless steel liner lock, beautiful micarta. You know, deep carry pocket clip, got a 14C28N blade. This thing has seen a ton of pocket time. Now, the reason it's not actually my favorite is because I've carried the drop bear a lot more, and I think there's a lot more like interesting things about drop bear that are going on. But boy, the Civivi Voltaic, it's real good. It's good. I mean, it's everything's really good. Everything's Civivi. And that's it, and that's the fact. And actually, that brings us to the sponsor of our video, We and Civivi Knives. I don't know if you guys know this, but uh, we've been pulling sponsors on for the channel. We've been reaching out to all of our friends in the knife industry, and we and Civivi were immediately, they're like, yes, what can we do? How can we work together? And they're sponsoring this video. We and Civivi are a huge part of why me and Jamie can continue to make videos. So. Thank you to everybody over there. Not only does We and Civivi make a stellar knife, they're also our friends. Like they're just good people over there. We, you know, we got Joe, we got Seth, we got Tina, Angel, uh, Candy, like we got them all. Like everybody over there is just delightful and we're just really grateful to have them on as a channel sponsor. So thank you We Knives. Um, if you guys are looking for a knife, honestly, We Civivi, you just can't go wrong. Not all their designs are for me. You can just pick your pattern, right? Yeah. And you know it's gonna be great. Yeah, that's it. Check out We and Civivi Knives. They are the sponsor of this video. Thank you guys. That brings us to Jamie's folder of 2022. He is not like me. He can make better decisions quicker. Jamie, what do you got? I only have one, so. Yeah, one, yeah, like Which you is should. how it should be. Like you should. So, uh, I don't know, I don't think it's any surprise, but I have an Aflander as is my pick for 2022. I really think good one. it's got some cool, innovative things going on with it in kind of this price point, but this is the Nas Lander, kind of just your small, I wouldn't call it small, but small-ish. I, I would say it's right at, it's at it's, the it's, bottom and a medium. It's like schmedium. Yeah, schmedium. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. a schmedium yeah. folder. I really like this size. This particular one is not mine, it's yours. Mine has walked away somehow. I have the blue one, but. His launch to the moon or something, we'll figure it out later. <laughs> Speaking of the moon. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I recently picked up these moon scales, um, and I think they look better on the black one now that I'm that I'm looking at it. So yep. the cool thing about the lander is you have uh, very easily swappable scales, so you just take these two screws right there and the pocket clip insert screws, uh, take them out, and you can swap the new ones on. You can actually technically use this as a skeletonized knife if you really you want, want to. to. I don't know if I'd recommend that. We but... should carry it that way just to try. I haven't tried it yet. Mm, maybe. Eh, maybe we'll do it and tell you guys how it was. <laughs> Otherwise, so D2 blade, this one's black coated. Uh, 
uh, on the other side, you have the cool deep carry pocket clip. And this one is, it's got flush screws on it. So it's probably pretty hard to see from there, but it's got, got all those Ben isms in it. Yep. And on this side, I put these uh, rising sun scales on it too scales. so so many different scale options so many different first party so many different third party scale options there's just a ton of customization customization there we go customization options for the nafs lander and you know it's like 58 dollars yeah which is Perfect which is starting point, so. Yeah, which is great. Uh, I like this thing, and I think it deserves a spot in the best gear of 2022 video. And you have actually been carrying this one quite a bit. Mm -hmm. um, Jamie's really been bouncing between the banter, the bug out, because of course he has, the based. and the lander. Mm -hmm. um, so it's it's been a cool one to see. And I think the thing that's really innovative and neat about that one also is that Ben has made the scales available. So like yeah. you can get the, the files for the scales. If you have a 3D printer, or if you want to make your own set of scales, the, the files are out there. Like we'll put a link in the description. Again, Again, links in the description. Cool knife. Cool. A lot of innovation this year in the knife world. Absolutely. In the knife space, which is fun. Okay, multi-tool? Multi-tool. Okay, multi-tool. <laughs> multi-tool. Yeah, mine's... <laughs> it's, I'm not cheating here, though. This hasn't been my pocket tool of choice this year. Obviously, the Victorinox Compact is the, the overall perennial winner. Um, but, like, you know, you guys already know that, right? Um, however, I have been carrying a set of Nipex pliers and these were the cobra x uh nipex nipex cobras they're just cobras so nipex cobra pot pliers really small profile in my edc kit i do carry or a hat i was carrying uh, a crescent wrench along with a leatherman but i'm not one to carry a leatherman every day and that might change i i'm, I'm really trying to figure out kind of how to perfect my my pockets right and right now this Nipex has been amazing. I've used this for a ton of stuff. I mean, like literally just two days ago, I was like tightening up the alternator belt on my car with this thing. So now if you're watching this, you might be like, oh, it's just a pair of like channel locks. You can't do nuts and bolts with that. Not the case. So you have this button that you press and it locks itself into whatever uh, jaw width that you're going for. The jaws are designed to grab onto nuts and bolts really, really well. And then because of the design and the way that the pressure system works on these, when you lock this onto a nut and then you push from the top, like you can literally put this on a round bar and stand on it. Like it's amazing. These things are super rad. So anyways, I've been carrying these a ton. I've been loving these things. This was actually something else that you guys turned me on to and I'm definitely not regretting it. So the Nipex, super rad, definitely highly recommend. Uh, very, very useful. I never stop hearing about them. Never stop hearing about them. I'm like, hey, do you need a set of pliers? <laughs> Which Jamie usually doesn't. Uh, I don't need needle nose pliers a lot is what I've found, right? It's nice to be able to grab stuff, but I don't need needle nose pliers. However, on the note of pliers. On the note of pliers. So my multi-tool tool, should we just call it tool? Pocket tool? Pocket tool? Pocket, pocket tool, tool choice for 2022 is the Leatherman Free P2. I call it a P4 in our pocket check video. This is going to surprise nobody. I had a Leatherman Free P4. Uh, uh, tops. I think I confused a lot of people, so I'm, I apologize It is, it for is that. a P2. One note about this, this isn't new for 2022. No. This is just kind of our favorite best gear yeah. that we think yeah. uh, for 2022. But I, I have been carrying the Leatherman Free P2 in my pocket for probably just over a year. Just over a year, I think. Um, so it's kind of sit mostly in 2022 for yeah. me. But I will say this, you guys know, you guys know, Jamie, like, what are you carrying, Jamie? Bug out, bug out, bug out, bug out, bug out. Doesn't carry a flashlight, doesn't carry like anything, no, like no coins. <laughs> Jamie's not a coin guy. No. None of that type of stuff. He doesn't even carry cash, right? So the fact that this has made it in his pocket and has been in his pocket every day for a year, he's been carrying right. this thing, big deal. That means that's a higher, that's a high level of recommendation. <laughs> All right. So reason why it makes a list for me, uh, first reason, so closed here. Uh, if I have a multi-tool in my pocket, it's gotta be one-handed. I can take this, flip it open one-handed. It's perfect for that because I'm always holding a camera. I am always have something in my other hand, so it's gotta be one-hand operation. So that's on the pliers side of things, but you can also get to all of the tools on the side here by just hitting that with your thumb, selecting whatever you want. Uh, and getting it to it that way. I need this flathead screwdriver all the time for tripod shoes. Yep. So I'm constantly using that. That's probably my one, number one use for it. I do use the pliers on occasionally, more now since I'm building a 
or since we're building an apartment for me. <laughs> you guys have noticed uh, nothing's much changed in this area of the house because we're now building Jamie an apartment right. in the garage. That's moving along nicely yeah. though. Yeah, it is. <laughs> so outside of kind of my normal DIY stuff that I've been doing for, you know, building myself an apartment, I don't use the pliers a ton, but whenever you do need it, it's very handy. So yep. I use it for that. The knife gets used occasionally, the scissors gets used occasionally, uh, but those are kind of the main, oh, and the Phillips. Phillips. So the yep. Phillips gets also used. So those are my main uses for this. And when you need it, it's very handy to have. So right. Leatherman Free P2 is my pick uh, for 2022. It's been in my pocket almost every day for better course of a year now, and I love it very much. Yeah, big deal. Okay, EDC organizers. EDC organizers. Okay, sweet. So you guys have seen this a little bit on the channel. It might have made it do a pocket check here or there. Yeah, it was I, definitely in the tops pocket check. Yeah, but sure. I haven't really talked about it. So this is the Alpaca Zip Pouch Pro. Yep. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. It's, it, this is a pretty new piece of gear to me. I've been working a lot on perfecting my pockets. I've been just trying to like, how can I simplify down to the core of what I actually need? Um, I've actually tried like not even carrying multi-tool in my pocket. Like I went without the Victorinox for a little while to see if I could do that. I can't do it. Like I, I just do too many random things in my life that I need a little set of tools on me on a regular basis. But this pocket slip has made carrying all of this stuff so much nicer. So for me personally, uh, I carry my big idea uh, dual click pen in there. And that's actually the mini, just, I just pull it out so you guys can check it out. So I've got this big idea designs dual click pen in there, which is super rad. Of course, I have the undefeated king, of my Victorinox compact in there. I use that thing probably daily, I use that thing. And then I, it even has a place for this, these Nipix that I've been carrying around and falling in love with. And it was actually the Nipix that tipped me over the edge of seeing how useful they were. And I was like, I wanna be able to carry these better, but I wasn't gonna have them free float in my pockets, annoying. Um, so that's kind of what, what uh, brought this on. And then I have also, uh, because it's winter time, always got a way to make a fire. Uh, not because I think that the world's gonna end and I need to be able to make a fire in the middle of the city, but I do find myself in a lot of weird situations where I'm just like, oh, like my van broke down. I'm in the middle of the desert and it's negative five out. I need to be able to make a fire. <laughs> Jamie's like, yeah, that pans. <laughs> yes. And then uh, it has a pouch inside for all of your wallet stuff as well. So I've been really digging this thing. I haven't quite figured out how to carry cash in it. I am a guy that carries cash like daily. Um, so I've just been putting my cash in my coin pocket. Uh, and that's really just because I haven't taken the time. Um, we've been really busy. So I just haven't taken the time to see if I can make cash work easier, uh, but it doesn't work just like by folding up a bill and throwing it in there quickly with all the stuff I already have on there. Yeah. That's the only downside that I have to this thing, but I'm really, really digging this uh, little pocket pouch from Alpaca. And I'm gonna be testing a bunch of different pocket organizers. I've just been stuck on this one recently. So there's that. Is it my turn? Your turn. This one's weird. Which is actually kind of funny. Uh, but <laughs> so, so, so we love this so much that. <laughs> yes. So I also have an alpaca product yeah. on me. Uh, I do not have the experience of carrying it right. uh, like you do. But so uh, I've been toying around with the idea of doing an EDC kit, or I need to do an EDC kit, yeah. right? It needs to go in my kind of everyday backpack uh, and just kind of cover all of the, the holes in my EDC Basically, world. he's jealous of mine and it comes in handy on all these things that we're doing. So he's like, you know, I should probably have my own. Yeah, so I got this to make a better one. <laughs> make a better what's gonna happen? <laughs> we're gonna see. <laughs> so this is the Alpaca Tech Case Mini. They have a slightly larger version. This mini is actually not that much smaller. Yep. This is a Tech Case Mini. So I am going to be putting together an EDC kit over the next few weeks. Uh, and we're actually gonna make a video about it. Yeah. So keep an eye out for that. But this is the product that I landed on. We spent a few hours one day just going through all of these little pouches and EDC cases, and we landed on this Alpaca Tech Case Mini. So it's really cool. It's kind of this heavy duty nylon. It's all got YKK zippers everywhere. So you got a front pouch here. You've got a main pouch here with all sorts of storage options when it comes to different pockets. There's another zipper pocket in here. There is a strap over here for carrying. It's kind of like a seatbelt material. And there's actually a whole nother like shoulder strap. So if you want to carry this as like a cross sling, I feel like if you're traveling or whatever and you need passports and just kind of the essentials on your chest, it might be kind of cool. Watch it, yeah. yeah. Well, I'm not sure how much I will use this, but I think this is also a really cool addition to this particular zip pouch. This is my 
choice for I think what's going to be great for yeah. 2022 <laughs> into 2023. So yeah, the Alpaca Tech Case Mini, that's kind of my choice for the whole little fabric organizer thing. And we did do a ton of research yeah. on, on this, and that's why we landed on this, and that's why we're including it in this video. Uh, we don't have a lot of carry experience with it yet, but looking at what all the options were as far as zippers, carry options, size, like all of that, that's why we landed here. So, um, I, and like, when it comes to carrying EDC gear, let me know if you, any of you guys are using slings or anything like that. I know like some people are like, oh, it's like a man purse or something. I don't know. I feel like they look like techy and futuristic enough. It doesn't look purse-ish to no. me. And I know you probably won't carry yeah. it that way, but like I'm personally interested in like, do I want to like do a sling? I don't know. I don't know. Like, yeah. Maybe, you know? This I think is going to live mainly in my everyday backpack yeah, exactly. with all the stuff, but yeah. I, I can also just flick it in my travel bag or I can just throw it in my truck. Yeah. Uh, for whatever, it just kind of goes with me wherever. So for sure. Anyway, I like it. So Sweet. I think I'm gonna like it. Yeah, <laughs> we're liking it so far. <laughs> On to fixed plates. No surprise, Zach uh, couldn't make up his mind. So I'm gonna show you what my overall favorite has been, and I'm gonna show you kind of like with the Voltaic. What there's there's been a little upset, not an upset, but there's they're completely different knives. But there's something else going on that I, I you guys just have to know about. So anyways. My favorite is my favorite fixed blade. My favorite EDC fixed blade of uh, 2022 is the MKM Micro, and dude, this thing is awesome. I have carried this thing so much. We did a little video of like kind of like, hey, here's some knives we've been carrying recently. A lot of you guys seem to enjoy that one. Uh, we'll put a link uh, somewhere around here. Hey, that's you actually. Jamie will put a link somewhere around here. He's here. But yeah, I've been carrying the Micro a ton and I really, really like this thing. So um, M390 blade, my Carta handles. You know, I've got a medium sized hand. This thing is, you know, pretty securely a three fingered knife. Not that I use it a ton this way, um, to be honest. I found that I was using it a lot like this. So I was using it a lot like this and then I would use it like this sometimes if I had to like do a hard cut or something of that nature. But uh, really like it, jimping in all the right places. It's a Jesper Voxnes design, so you know it's gonna be good. And then it comes with my favorite little like magnetic sheath from MKM, boom. Just like that, to lock it up and close it up. And this thing is rad. I've carried it in pocket, I've carried it over pocket, and uh, I'm really, really digging it. One thing that's really neat about this as well, because this enclosure is magnetic, you can use it as a pocket clip and it works really, really well. You can put it in your pocket so that it, the knife doesn't move around inside your pocket really, really well. But because it's magnetic, you get really good retention. I mean, like, I'm not holding the end of that blade and the blade's not falling out. So I carry this thing a ton and I really like this thing. So that's the MKM Micro and uh, yeah, really excited about it. Really great knife. If you're looking for a small EDC knife, you honestly, you cannot go wrong with this knife. I, I just can't give it a high enough recommendation. And now because I can never make up my mind really quickly, I'm sorry, I'm breaking all the rules. We made the rules, we're gonna break them. Quick, fine. quick. Quick, quick, quick. Okay, we've got the Tops MPAT. We featured this thing in the Bowie Knife video and uh, I just didn't get a chance to really talk about enough how amazing this thing is. 1095 steel, micarta handles, very thin profile, but very thick stock and tang. So this thing is super tough. It's designed for fighter jet pilots to be a fighting and survival knife if some, if, you know, if, they're, if they go down or if they're behind enemy lines or whatever it may be. Really like this thing all the way down to the sheath, to be honest. I usually don't like stock sheaths. I usually make my own sheaths for stuff, um, but all the way down to the sheath. I've been actually been carrying this thing a ton. My only piece of feedback for tops on this is that this uh, nubbin right here is a little sharp and this end is just a little sharp. And the reason I say that is because I'm worried when it pivots in my shirt, I'm worried it's gonna rip my shirt when I'm sitting down and stuff. It hasn't hasn't ripped my shirt, I'm just worried about it. So I'm probably gonna like grind those down a little bit and I'm probably gonna carry this thing more than I have any business carrying it, but uh, really great knife. Tops Empath. To be fair to Tops, they probably didn't mean that as an everyday carry. No, they did not, but man, <laughs> it's so cool and it's so good. Speaking of Bowie knives, Jamie, what, what do you got? Jamie's been surprising me a lot this year. Let's just put it that way. Jamie, what do you got over here? <laughs> so we might be stretch stretching the bounds of EDC at this point. <laughs> nah, nah. So <laughs> we recently did a Bowie Knife video. That was last week's video. Okay. Uh, it's a complete history on the Bowie Knife. So if you haven't seen it, make sure you check that out. Definitely check it out. Uh, we lightly featured this knife. This is the Buck 124 Frontiersman. And I I don't know, maybe it's like a guilty confession or whatever, but I really like this knife. <laughs> I love that you and here's, love this here's so why. Off brand for is Jamie. it is it like this like great practical right. awesome like feature rich knife right. right no no it's not 
But I think everybody just needs something that's cool and they enjoy and they like to, you know, have this big like chonky thing in their hand, right? You got really thick stock here, 420HC, you got black micarta handles, you got a super blocky, chunky handle. There's but a, comfortable. Yeah. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, like it's blocky, but it's actually comfortable. It's reminiscent to me of the Benchmade Bushcrafter, kind of in yeah. how it feels with, it, with its like kind of block here, but it rounded edges, right? Yep. Just cool design, right? You got cool bolsters, cross guard, pins, all that stuff. Um, and then like the history of this is cool too, right? Yeah. So like it started off as a dive knife. There was like, what was it? What was the, num the number designation? I think it was, it was a, the 122 Nemo yeah, is so what it was called, yeah. It started as a 122 Nemo as a dive knife. It looked exactly like this. It had, uh, I think a slightly different steel or something I can't like remember the that. blade steel. It came in, a, um, it had a plastic yeah. sheath. Right, but yeah, other than that. And they ended up discontinuing it because rust issues, you know, back in the, you know, mid-1960s. 68 was yeah. one of the Nemo, and this was 69, I yeah. think, something so like, like that. So like back in the 60s, obviously your corrosion resistant steel yeah. options were pretty limited. So they ended up discontinuing that. They came up with this, they discontinued this, they brought this back in the 2000s. So it's just kind of the combination of all those weird things that ended up like, okay, this is the fixed weight of the year for me. <laughs> Everybody needs a guilty pleasure knife. It's very true. And this is and my it's a perfect guilty guilty pleasure. Yeah, obviously not made in 2022, but right. this is my 2022 guilty pleasure knife. Yeah. Great sheath, great design, everything. Love it. Perfect. I absolutely love it. <laughs> and I love it even more that Jamie loves it. So, uh, quick note on Bowie knives. This is something I learned in the comments of that Bowie knife video. In Bram Stoker's Dracula, like the original telling of Dracula, Dracula was killed by a Texas cowboy with a Bowie knife. Was it silver? No, it's just a Bowie knife. Oh, well, Bowie knives are magical. Then. They are magical. Watch our video, you'll know what that means. <laughs> it's so magical. Also guys, again, if there's any knives on the table that are intriguing you, you don't need to buy anything, but there are links in the description. We've just been getting feedback from people being like, where's this knife at? Almost always, links in the description. Okay, this is my wild card for the year. I'm gonna bring it up here, I'm gonna show you guys, and then I'm gonna give you a disclaimer. Boom, boots. <laughs> I am a big leather boot guy. I've been wearing Red Wings since I, I've probably been wearing Red, Red Wings since I started pouring concrete with my dad when I was like 11. That's like when I, I mean, I wasn't pouring concrete at the time. I was like cleaning stakes and, and, and doing you know, ancillary work. These are NYX handmade boots. Uh, these are really, really awesome boots. I've shown these one other time and I ended up having a really interesting conversation with a guy down in the comments. So I wanna make sure that my qualification for this is very clear. These boots are very expensive. I would not recommend these boots to everybody. And NYX sent these to me to try out, okay? Is that, hopefully I've been very clear, <laughs> very transparent. We've covered everything. This is why I'm picking these for 2022. As far as a wild card piece of gear, these boots have opened my eyes when it comes to leather boots. So I've been a Red Wing man literally my whole life. Since my first pair of boots, I've worn Red Wings. I've tried out Danners, I've tried out Whites, uh, I tried out Thorough Goods. I think I've tried kind of all the big name brands. I instantly fell in love with these things. These boots are stellar. So Nick's Handmade Boots, this is my wild card pick for the year. The reason that I'm gonna show these, because they're definitely not for everyone, the reason I'm gonna show these is I am a proponent that everybody should have a good pair of boots. A good pair of boots means that you're kind of ready for anything, right? Like for me, it's like I could literally on any given day, like we do work with Harley Davidson from time to time, on any given day, I could end up in a situation where I could go on a few hundred mile ride on a Harley Davidson, my feet are protected, I'm gonna be good. Uh, it's not uncommon for me just to disappear on any given day and I'll just go tranching through the mountains or the desert. Good pair of boots is great for that. Not to mention, you can have a boot knife with you everywhere you go. But uh, yeah, good pair of boots, Nick's boots, that's my wild card. Hopefully, I was very clear <laughs> about, about those boots. I'm actually really stoked about this stuff. And I'm, oh, yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm holding my phone, right? Yep. Uh, it's not the phone, it's not the iPhone. Whatever. Who cares about iPhones? iPhones, iPhones about Androids. Phones? I'm I'm not. Whatever tool works the best for what I'm doing currently <laughs> yeah. is what I'll use. Yep. It's actually the case. Yeah. So this is a quad lock case. You had been using quad lock stuff for probably three years, three, something like that. Three, four years, something like that. Uh, the timeline's a little hazy, but yeah. a long, a long time. Yeah. Uh, you had introduced me to quad lock a while ago, but it didn't work for me because the old case kind of had this hump on it. You couldn't put MagSafe stuff on it. Some wireless chargers would work, but a lot of them wouldn't, right? As, as somebody who like has their phone more integrated, like my phone's not very integrated in my life. I had quad lock to use as a speedometer on my motorcycle and for maps, like in my car and stuff like that. That's why I had a quad lock. 
but you you use your phone much more as an EDC item yes. than I do, right? Correct. Like with your wallet mm -hmm. and like just generally. I have a MagSafe wallet that I use that is my primary wallet. I don't carry anything else. It's just a card holder. I don't like having large bulky wallets, which is kind of interesting, the philosophy of like stuff in our pockets, right? Because you have that big yeah. like alpaca thing. Yeah, this thing's chunky. Like, And I'm just like, <laughs> I want the least amount of things in my pocket <laughs> exactly. as possible. Um, that works with my system. Quadlock recently came out with this new MagSafe compatible mm. Quadlock systems. So they're flat now, you can put all of your wireless charging accessories on there, all of your MagSafe accessories on there, and it works perfectly. And you can use it with all the old Quadlock stuff. They have new like mag holder systems. I actually have a thing here. That thing is Like so this cool. thing. Yeah. It's got a nano suction pad in it, so hopefully we can get it off the, the table here. But uh, the old system, you'd have to like 45 degree on and then turn. That is the more secure yeah. way to mount it. My mounts are still that way, even though I do have the MagSafe mm -hmm. one as well now, I still do the lock because I use it in yeah. my off-road vehicle. But if you want a more convenient Correct. mounting option with, uh, with certain applications that require less strength of mm -hmm. like the, the mounting yeah. point, I guess, right? So they have a new MagSafe system now where you can just go like this and it just magnets straight on. And you on your desk, twist. you're yeah. not bouncing through yeah. a bunch of bumps or anything like that. Um, and they have a ton of accessories. Like this one, there's a wireless charging pad here, there's a wireless charging pad here. This one goes on my desk, I like it a lot. Only thing is quad lock, if you have an Apple Watch you know, charging system in the works, hurry up. Yes. Yeah. That would be nice. There's no way to charge your Apple Watch in here. Currently. <laughs> if you're like Jamie and have an yeah. Apple Watch. <laughs> it's um, called an iWatch, by the way. It's not an iWatch. <laughs> And then I have a, a mounting system built out in my truck that uh, it was yeah. originally started as a, a RAM mount system and still three quarters of it is a RAM mount system. Yep. But Quadlock does make a one inch ball a mounting system that will integrate with your one inch RAM system. So it's beautiful for that because yeah. there's so many options when it comes to RAM but their actual like integration points into the phone are not very good. I don't like the RAM system. Like yeah they have like it holds secure, but it's like this weird spring loaded mm -hmm. four point system. Yep. It's just really inconvenient. This one you literally just, or if you want really secure, twist and lock yep. and you're good to go. So quad lock for me has been my wild card EDC item of the year. And like it also integrates into so many other parts of your yeah, life, right? It really does. My truck, my desk, like yep. anything. Mo motors, motorcycles. Bikes, yep. anything yep. you need Bicycles. to mount a phone yep. to. Quadlock has so many options on their website, it's ridiculous. So I would go there and check it out because you can find all sorts of weird, crazy mounting systems. I actually, they have a sticker one and I actually put it on my mobile toolbox mm -hmm. uh, when we got these new ones. Because uh, Quadlock actually is a sponsor of the channel. So if you guys want to click the link down there, that does help the channel out. You don't have to do that, but it does help the channel out. Um, and it's a really good product. Uh, I put the sticker one on my mobile toolbox so that like when I'm working on something, if I need to look up a YouTube video or if I want to listen to my, I have my music close yeah. by or whatever, then I will use it that way too. So it's it's a very versatile system. This will all, this also has a magnet in it, so you can stick it to Correct. just yeah, yeah. Like, steel things. Yeah, it will stick, your phone will now stick to steel things without the magnet messing up your phone, which is really cool. So, so yeah man. Really great. That's my I, pick. I, I'm glad that uh, I'm glad the quad locks made it in your life. We've been talking about it for a long time. It just didn't work for Jamie, and now it does. Yeah, it I like it was that one thing. Yeah. it was literally that one thing because like, everything yeah. else was really cool about it. But yeah. it's like, well, I can't put this on a wireless charger, and I can't put my MagSafe yep. stuff on it. Yep. They fixed that, and it opened up a whole new world of like putting my phone on things. Love it. Love it. It's great. Um, and the phone is like, it really is such an important EDC item for most people. Like even me, it is on me most of the time because a lot, the work we do is in the digital space a lot of times, and so I carry my phone a lot more than I like to, um, but it's nice to have like a good, being able to turn it into more of a tool. I'm always about that, so. Well, dude, that was sweet. We did it. <laughs> fun. We did it. <laughs> it's so cool. Um, and we want to hear from you guys what have been your five favorite pieces of gear uh, down in the comments. So it can be in the same order that we did or just five pieces of gear that you've really loved. And uh, we're just going to take just a second at the end of this video uh, to just give you guys basically big thanks. Um, this has been a big year for me and Jamie. So back in April, May, something like that, uh, me and Jamie were talking. We were, we were doing another gig working kind of in the automotive industry. And uh, we were looking at this channel that I had done some fun stuff on that you guys had been uh, digging early on. And uh, we were looking at it and we're like, hey man, like let's, like let's work together on this. Let's turn it on and see if we can, what we can do with it, right? Like see if we can put more information out there, have some more fun, build some documentaries like the Bowie Knife one we just put out. And uh, you guys showed up. So it's just a, like a huge thing for me and Jamie. Uh, we went full time with the channel recently, which is huge thanks to sponsors like we knives and quad lock and all of you guys out there thanks to our patreon group we've got a patreon going link down in the description if you want to sign up 
Um, we got some special stuff happening over there. There's some trade secrets uh, for us, not for the knife world, uh, that, we're, that we're releasing uh, and that we're working with, with people over on Patreon. And the links that are down in the description right now, the little secret links I was telling you about, that will go away. So if you're not seeing anything that looks out of the out of at normal down there, that means they're already gone. Um, but those little links, that's part of some of the stuff that we're working on with our Patreon group as well. So um, basically for me, I just wanna say thank you guys so much. This has been an amazing year. Um, we've got so many big things planned for next year. Uh, I mean, hopefully we're gonna go international. Like we've got some plans to go international. We've got some plans. I'm just gonna say it. Uh, we've, got some, we've got some plans for some knife designs. Um, and in January, at the end of January, we actually have uh, our first kind of Zack in the Wild exclusive type knife coming out. I'm just gonna say that too. So, <laughs> giving away everything, giving away everything. Don't let us down the people working on that right now. <laughs> it is coming though. Either way, it is coming. Um, so anyways, from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much. Uh, Jamie, do you want to say anything else? Thank you, everybody. This has been a wild journey. So yeah, um, yeah you you guys just made this possible. So it's been great. Yeah, it's been really great. And uh, like I said, let us know what gear you guys are carrying. Let us know what you think about what we have on the table. Let us know what Jamie needs to be putting in his EDC pouch. We love hearing from you guys. We're always down in the comments. And we'll catch you on the next one.